More fallout today from the feud between President-elect Donald Trump and Georgia Congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis. Tonight, News Channel 8's Paul Mueller has that and more on the controversy surrounding Donald Trump. Just days to go until the big inauguration. This morning, I had the chance to speak with Democratic strategist Barry Edwards and Gordon Oldham of the Pinellas Republicans to get their take on Trump. The president-elect is taking aim on Twitter at a civil rights icon, Georgia Congressman John Lewis, who marched with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., tells NBC's Chuck Todd he's skipping Trump's inauguration. Uh, I don't see this president-elect as a legitimate president. Trump responded, blasting Lewis on Twitter, saying the Georgia congressman should spend more time on fixing and helping his district, which Trump called crime-infested. I think that that was an opportunity that Trump missed again. Uh, Lewis is, if anything, he is a do-something guy. You know, you mess with the bull, you get the horns, and um, that's what's happened here. Trump also holding his first press conference in six months, happening earlier this week, saying when it came to his business empire, there wouldn't be a conflict of interest with him as commander-in-chief. Did that work, Barry. He's got a massive business empire, and he it just it's not like going and selling 10 shares of stock. Most of the hotels are branded with him. I think they need to work out some things, and he needs to have some distance. What he's going to have to do is divest himself. So it's going to take some time, and I think that we should give him the leeway to allow him to do that. And a whole lot of last-minute preparation going on in the nation's capital for Friday's inauguration. Under the watchful eyes of the Secret Service, 28,000 people working on security with nearly 100 different organizations expected to demonstrate. Paul Mueller, News Channel 8.